Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. I want your eyes up here. Um, yeah, if you girls over there can't, I don't know, can you see the board? Okay, that's not the way. Okay, so today I'm just going to do a quick kind of just add one more concept to what I've been talking about. We're talking about, about um, how, how, sorry, can't talk about this. About how atoms, like how they connect and bond up and stuff. Let me show you just one other part of that. So um, again, let's just quickly, so let's pretend we have sodium atoms. Sodium has 11 protons, 11 neutrons, and 11 electrons. Okay, and remember the first layer has two of those, one, two. Second layer has the rest, eight of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 10. I need 11, so I have to add one more level. Okay, so there's my 11th one. This one doesn't like to have an extra one, okay? So we find a friend that needs one. So let's do um, chlorine, which is nine protons, nine neutrons, and nine electrons. Okay, so the first two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've got an empty spot, okay? So just like I said last time, this, what happens is this extra electron goes over here. This guy steals it, so it's an ionic, me, myself, an ion, fun. Okay, so this electron actually leaves that guy and fills right here. So now, take a look at this. How many electrons does this have now? It, it got lost one, so how many does it have? Had 11, how many does it have now? This guy just took one of them, so what is, how many does it have now? 10, right? So 10. So basically now, instead of 11 electrons, here's the important part, it now has 10. Is it balanced? It's not, not very, it's not equally balanced. It's not a happy atom anymore. This guy, how many does he have? He used to have nine. How many does he have now? 10 also. Just coincidental. Okay, so that one also has 10. Okay, so now, but here's the thing. Do you remember from like way back in class or other classes you've been in? Protons have what kind of charge do they have? It's either neutral, positive, or negative. What kind of charge do they have? Come on. You know this, hopefully. Really? What is the P? Positive, thank you. P for positive. Protons have a positive charge. Neutrons is neutral. Neutrons are neutral. So what are electrons? Electrons. What charge do they have? Negative. Negative. This case, this is the important part here. Electrons are negative. Okay. By the way, electrons are what causes electricity because they're, the motion of them is what causes like the current, electrical current. All right. So now take a look at this atom, this first one. It has 11 protons, so it has 11 positives, right? 11 neutrals and only 10 negatives. Overall, what is this atom? It's got 11 positives and 10 negatives. Is it an overall, if you add, think math, if you add 10, 10 negatives and 11 positives, what do you end up with? You end up with a negative or a positive overall? I have 11 positives. And only 10. So let me draw that one. Well, I have 11 positives. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And I have 10 electrons, so 10 negatives. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. One of these cancels out with that one. One cancels out here. One cancels out. They keep canceling each other out. when I erase too far. Okay, that one. What do I end up? Oh, did I didn't erase that one. Sorry, I ended up with an extra. I know I did it wrong. Oh, well. If you do it the right way when you're drawing it out, technically you'd end up with, because there's an extra positive, technically you'd end up with a positive. So this one happens to have one, one too many protons compared to its electrons. It's got one extra proton and one, and one less electron. So this guy, this sodium, 
is actually a positive atom because it's got an extra proton compared to its electrons. This one, though, this one has, let me actually do it right this time, nine positives, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one, how many electrons? Ten, because it got the extra one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These all cancel each other out, so what do I end up with overall? A negative. This guy is actually uh, cal or, sorry, chlorine, and it's a negative ion. What ends up with is I have a positive ion, a positive atom, and a negative atom, and because they're opposites, they stick together. And so I end up with an atom. This is how they write it. Sodium chloride. Sodium positive, chlorine negative. That's the formula. If you ever see that, that's what it means. It means this atom is extra positive and this atom is extra negative and they stick together because they're opposites. Okay? Questions on that? All right. Thank you for those of you who participated. If you have questions, please let me know. I want you to work on lesson three and four today. The main lesson of three and four is, like this, like I said, the objective is to understand the, how the ions are affected and how they create negative and positive. Okay? So work on that today and try to work on getting done. Thank you.